these two ridges right there, that's the volcano. Oh my God, Bradley, have you ever been anywhere like this? Never in my whole life. Yesterday was probably one of the more incredible days of my life. We took a catamaran to get to St. Lucia, and I've never been on one before. It's nice to be out there all by ourselves. It gave us an opportunity to spend time with Brad and really get to know him a little bit more. This was a way to kind of make a day off of it and really enjoy each other. Good morning, guys. Good morning, morning, my friends. So what's happening today, Sarah? Well, I figure our first day in St. Lucia, we have to kind of do something a little bit wild. So we are going horseback riding in a volcano. Yay! <laughs> have you ever been horseback riding in a volcano before? Driving in this morning, it actually looked for a bit like we might not be able to pull this off. The clouds came in, they covered over, the rain started. And then, thankfully, by the time we got here, the sun came out, and we basically couldn't have had a better day for this. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hey, buddy. Hi. I'm so happy that I got in touch with Josh to organize this activity today. It is incredible here. Today, yes, this is what we're going to be using, old-fashioned. To get up to the volcano. Yes. You could smell the sulfur from the volcano from here. Where is it? It's like about less than a mile from here. Okay. Yeah. That's not going to take us long on this, yep. guys. It should take us about 45 minutes and we'll be there. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Look at him. <laughs> right. Is it a hard ride? It's a little bumpy, yeah. <laughs> but so, the horses make it smooth all the way. <laughs> so now this is Beyonce. She's so, so pretty. So Beyonce is not known to freelance and run wild. She's just going to be my girl. If you wanted to, she can. No, no, she's that's good. cool. We'll be. <laughs> you look like the big guy, so I'm going to give you a stallion, man. You give me the stallion, This is a bro. stallion. You're taking care of me, So you man. know what? You got to watch out for, for Beyonce. You know? <laughs> he likes Beyonce a little bit. You like bit, Beyonce. Right? One, two, three. You nervous? Are you that nervous? I am. I am. I am. Oh, What's yeah. What's his bro. name? Nye. I got to hold this. Yeah. And there you go. Swing on. Swing. Uh, uh. There you go. There you woo, go. Woo, woo. Nah, you feel it, Bradley? Up. Yeah, yeah. You get the groove? You got this, yeah, you man. Go, you man. got this. Troy was given a couple trick ponies and had a bit of a tough go getting in. I, I want off, man. I don't trust this guy. You don't trust him? No, I don't. Troy, does that feel better? Much better. Debbie's pregnant, you know, eh? I know. Hi, man, I have so much to say about this day. We started out with a two-hour ride that's always kind of one of my favorite parts is the transportation. We had mountains, we were in the rainforest, it's visually stimulating. We had this weather that was creating, you know, this beautiful mist in the morning and we were real worried that we were not actually gonna be able to go up and have uh, that volcano experience on horseback. When the horse arrived, I thought it would be so easy but it's totally not, it's a full body workout. Like, I can't even feel my legs. Oh my God, Bradley, have you ever been anywhere like this? Never in my whole life. These two ridges right there, that's the volcano. So when it erupted, the whole thing, so all here would have been the cone right here. And when it erupted, this whole thing broke off and created this valley. And it's the only volcano in the world that you can drive only into. Only volcano in the world that you could drive, ride, walk. All right, let's head to the volcano, although it's that oh, way, better. we're going to head this way. Oh, look, you don't listen. You don't listen, Debbie. Let's go Be to good, the volcano, Debbie. Guys. Go, Debbie. That's how we say You're it in San Lucia. Let us go. I can't really say if Bradley has been on horse before, but he actually took to it quite well after I think he got over the initial fear. Troy, on the other hand, uh, might not be getting back on a horse anytime soon. The horse is not listening to me, and I feel like maybe I didn't take enough time to connect with my pregnant horse, Debbie. But anyway, this horse is galloping behind the rest. Uh, we're following them real fast. So how did this actually get 
formed like this. We're in the crater, right? right? Yeah. When the volcano erupted, this whole piece here fell out and went into the sea. Okay. So it created a valley, which you can now drive up and just experience this beautiful volcano. Oh, that's crazy. And that's the valley you live in at the Botanical yes. Gardens, yeah? Yes, we live right, right there. <laughs> So all that water you see in there, that actually goes down into the pools where you find the sulfur springs, where you call the sulfur springs, that's where we bathe. That's where right. you, I'm going to throw one of you guys in later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I volunteer, I volunteer. <laughs> me course, too, me too. Course, yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh man, that's going to be real hot. Oh, yeah? hot. Troy, yeah, that's the point. Put it... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sarah's activities always seem to be the most fun. She chooses things that are challenging, that she knows are gonna push our limits, and there's an enjoyment for me in being pushed like that, and I do feel like my limits were pushed. I know that I did horseback riding uh, when I was younger, but today was the real test because we were doing it all by ourselves. Guys, it was pretty amazing. Overall, today couldn't be any better. We're wrapping it up here on the beach, and I hope the guys had a good time. Orlando, he's all about the love, and so are we. So already I can tell it's gonna be a great day cooking with him. 